Greetings and welcome to Glass Masquerade. I'm Catherine of Sky and I really wanted to feature this game. This game came out a little while back but recently has gotten a DLC which adds more puzzles to it. Um, I really really love the graphics in this game and it is basically a puzzle game and it has lovely lovely music and let's just go ahead and play a new game. I was going to start from the very beginning but I, um, I wanted to test out the game a bit first um, and we created this lovely, lovely uh, piece here. So uh, we have a variety of countries that we can visit uh, and there are puzzles for each of them. So let's go ahead and go to, let's try Portugal. Oh, we're having this kind of a shaped puzzle. These are basically clocks and you make a stained glass puzzle. Now I have hints on at the start, which is basically these red uh, red pieces with the little circles on them. And these tell you where they go on the frame or they, they, they match a part of the frame. Okay, that one doesn't go there. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 come back, come back. No, no, there we go. Okay, there we are. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to grip it. There we are. Okay, and so this one goes here. Um, I used to love playing puzzles as a kid. Uh, I would just play them endlessly. That was one of my favorite things to do. Uh, but anyway, so this kind of reminds me of that, but also combines, I have just a severe love of stained glass and art deco as well. And uh, so this is like, I really wanted to show you guys this game just because it's um, just really chill and very relaxing. I have no idea what we're doing here. Let's see. Uh, you can turn off those hints at the beginning if you want to just puzzle the entire thing out by yourself. Let's see. Aha, this looks like a frame piece, potentially. Here, maybe? No, no, you don't like it there? No, no. No, doesn't seem to want to go there either. Let's see if we can pick maybe a bigger piece like this. I wonder if there's ships involved in this puzzle somehow, because these look like sails of ships, don't they? They look really quite lovely, but I don't know where they go. Oh, this is a nice big piece. Ah, water. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got a nice piece in there. So maybe if we pick the pieces that look water-ish. Ah, there we go. This is getting better. Um, this looks like the sky, maybe. Nice. It's funny, one of the things that um, I was in, uh, when I was in high school, we had this, uh, one of these trips that, oh yes, we're so honored. We get to uh, sing in Carnegie Hall. I was in the choir. And, um, well, basically it's, yes, if your parents pay X amount of thousands of dollars, you get to sing in Carnegie Hall. Uh, it's kind of a crock, but anyway, it was still cool to be able to do that. Um, but anyway, uh, while I was there, I, it was, it's in New York City, of course, and, uh, one on our outings, we could choose where we wanted to go. Oh my God, there's a seagull there. Look at that. Oh, and a flag. Oh, and another flag. Oh, I see where the sails go now. Um, anyway, no, no, that doesn't quite fit there, does it? No, no, I need those bigger sails. Anyway, what I did, I went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and one of the coolest things to see was the stained glass exhibit, because it was just, I don't know, it was just really awesome. And they had stained glass from different places, and I really, really loved seeing it. It was just really nice. Maybe here. Nope. You. Aha! You go there. Excellent. We found one of them. Not quite sure about the arrangements of the sails here, but maybe we can. Well, this is a. There we go. That one goes there. Is this one there? Yeah, there we go. But yeah, just seeing all of those beautiful stained glass pieces um, and they had them displayed such that, you know, it's obviously in the museum, but they were backlit so that you could see the light streaming through and they were just, they were on a religious motif uh, as, you know, mostly stained glass is, especially historically, but it was really, really beautiful. So this game immediately appealed to me just from seeing the description 
on Steam and stuff like that, and it was just, I really wanted to play it. Okay, this looks like a very inconvenient piece-ish. No, doesn't want to go there. Mm -mm. <laughs> One thing that I am grateful for is that it auto-rotates the pieces. I think I would have had a harder time, much harder time, and it might not have been as fun if I had to rotate them around myself. So I quite like that about this game. I have played other puzzle games in the past, and normally they don't really stick with me because I get frustrated or annoyed or the picture just seems like kind of, um, I don't know, not that, where the heck does this even fit? Um, <laughs> it's just like, hmm, how do I get to that end point of things? And, and I just lose interest, but this one seems to be a lot of fun. I have not played it a lot, obviously, you can see from my progress. And I was going to try to reset it for for YouTube, but I could not, uh, there was, there's no like in-game menu for that. Because I want to do the first one with you as well, but that's okay. Uh, are there extra pieces in this? Because this seems to want to... I'm wondering if it goes underneath this sail here. Because that one does go there, clearly. Oh, it's a ship. Now, I do have one comment on this game already that I'm not super thrilled about. And this is one thing that bothers me in real life, actually. Um, and that is the clock hands. I always feel like clock hands ruin the... like it puts a hole in the picture and it sort of ruins the picture for me. So I wish that you could turn off the clock hands. Um, I get that it's meant to be a timepiece thing, but I kind of wish that you could take them off. Maybe there would be like a button or a setting option for that. Because I'm not that fond of like, like this one too. Can we look at this one? Front. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Right. Ah, there we go. See, this is an, an, another gorgeous stained glass piece, but the hands are in the way. It's like, go away hands. Shoo. Um, all right, let's go for Italy. Why not? No, you know what? We'll go for Germany. We have a lot of, I have a lot of uh, Factorio fans in Germany, so I don't know if you guys are watching, but I hope so. So I'm not sure if the, the hands are there for theming purposes or for motion, um, but I just don't really, I mean, I have a clock in my room. But uh, it's not that thrilling for me. Is this a nice... Uh... Oh, there we go. I'm trying to find one's... Oopsies. Give me that... Nope. Bed here. No, that, not that one. Well, this one might work as well. Um, but clocks don't really necessarily appeal to me in that kind of a way. Like, not all the time. They're fine for, for some things, but... Oh my god, do we have a horse? A knight on a horse? <gasps> Looks really nice. But in any case, I, I think that this is just, just absolutely a beautiful game. And it's so relaxing. The music is very nice. Uh, right, we're not, that does not go there. Okay, that also... I'm trying to look for ones that might be attached to the edge. Come on, can I have this? go mm -mm, not quite not quite oh there we have a looks like a leg is that the knight's leg could be could very well be this also slightly re reminds me of my favorite puzzles to do when i was a kid I, they were all physical puzzles uh, obviously but um I was, I liked the art of Charles Wysocki, uh, or Wysocki in Polish, and um, uh, his paintings of Americana, because with every piece that you had, you could see, like, it was like a half a person, that the people were so tiny, and there were like villages and things like that, and so I, it always created a sense of wonderment in me to be able to you know, find, oh yeah, look at this lady. She has this really pretty pink dress on. I could see at the top of her, her dress. Um, but what does the bottom look like? Uh, or, you know, is she wearing a long skirt or what is she wearing? That kind of thing. Most of them are, you know, very quite old. 
old-fashioned um, uh, art or not art old-fashioned um, scenery all right I know there if there some of these pieces fit in here somewhere <laughs> like where the heck do they fit um, this one doesn't seem to fit anywhere however <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway, but uh, it puzzles for me were a way that I could just really find the story within a piece of art and be interested in whatever was going on there and and f figure out where the heck did this one go? I'm f tempted to turn it, but it's not turnable. I'm kind of wondering where do these other Oh, I wonder if we have to put them in the frame as well. Right, I'm thinking those pieces are way too big. They they do definitely do not fit there. Okay, now that we have <clears throat> expanded our horizons slightly, mm -hmm, this is going to be a lot easier. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But yeah, so I think that really influenced me as a child, you know, having these. Now this one, I still don't know where it goes. But probably there, this curve. So. Yeah, that made things a lot easier once I figured there's other bits that these places can go. But, yeah, there we are. Yeah, I have a great interest in old types of uh, artwork and things. Uh, like um, illuminated manuscripts and such. I always like those as well. Alright, what have we got here? We've got a knight on a charger charging past the sun here. The crown. I wonder if those are graves or they're just feathers or some kind of a decoration there. It's like a town here as well. Sort of mountain stylized. Wow. Very beautiful. I like that. All right. Where shall we uh, be off to? Sweden or Britain? Italy? Let's go off to Britain first and then we'll go north uh, through Sweden. All right. Let's go. Oh, these have like these kind of squarish borders here. That's kind of funky. There we go. Square with a few round sides. Oh, a lantern. How pretty. I like that. What else do we get? Mysterious shapes. Maybe buildings, perhaps? A town? And it's uh, fun how... You know, obviously the, the pieces are shaped for, specifically for stained glass, uh, or uh, outlining the pieces that they represent. Well, there's another lamp here. There's the bottom of a lamp. Where the lamp might go. But we do have a straight piece here. Nice. So it makes the puzzle kind of not as random it's actually following the shapes of what is in the puzzle. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a clock tower. Oh, I wonder if that's Big Ben, since this is meant to be Britain. Nope. Sometimes it's difficult to tell, though, with these puzzles the shapes being like oversized slightly if they feel oversized does this go here yeah like right there it is actually quite a bit oversized um hmm. that doesn't quite fit there this goes here though nice Wow, there looks like there's some fiery stuff going on here. 
maybe. All right, we have some sharp bits. There we go. Ooh, there's a man here. Hello. I'm not sure what's going on now. Looks like there's a lot of intensity, however. Play this one. Get this thing going. Oh no, no, no. Let's put this one. No, clearly it does not go there, no matter how much I want it to. So I find that a little bit confusing since they're a bit oversized. But hopefully we can still manage this. Oh, clearly it goes there. Hmm. There it goes. Hmm. There we go. It's looking very pretty. I still- I'm not quite sure what's going on over here. I'm like, hmm, what is this? things happening here. Oh! He's got like a, a major lamp here. I thought it was going to be a cross initially. I'm like, hmm. Nope. There we are. Hmm. Interesting. Sherlock. Okay, so it's Sherlock Holmes. I would not have guessed that. It kind of reminded me of um, the little prince and the lamplighter in that part of the story. All right, let's see what the next one is. Let's go up towards Sweden, I think. All right, here we go. It's too difficulty. There we are. Wow. What a neat shape thing. I like this. The frame is really very... Oh. Oh. Well then. This looks like it might have some shipping involved here. We shall see. Ooh. Look at this bird. That's cool. This looks like a... Um... A viking ship, kinda. With like a spear looking thing. Ooh. That's very, um, protruding. <laughs> kinda cool. Um, where does one even put this thing? I don't know where it goes. It's okay though, we'll figure it out. Quite sure where to put some of these things. Not quite sure to where to put anything, to be honest, at the moment. But it will be okay. Oh, here's another bird. Can this fit there? Okay, so we have like a frame of birds. We have an interesting thingy majing over here. I don't even know what's going on up here, too. Huh. This looks like a side of the frame, but I don't think it is. Let's see. We'll try all the pieces until we find some that fit. Okay, that looks like it fits. Okay, there's another one. We're on a bit of a roll here. Excellent. As long as we don't run out of pieces on that particular side. <laughs> Okay, there we are. 
part of the frame, part of the decorativeness. Mm. I have no idea where that good could go. And this, I don't even see any colors that it would go with. Like, for symmetry purposes. No idea. Uh, let's try some on this side, then. I don't think we've we've had our fair share of goes at this particular side. Eh? Or maybe we have. Let's try this. Ah, there we go. A border piece. That's always nice. This goes there. Ah, I thought it was like a, gonna be a dragon's tail or something sticking out from there. Oh, there we go. Ship sails. Very keen on ships. Very keen indeed. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting this going with the, the wings here of the bird. And this thing imaging. Uh, and this definitely goes maybe here. No, not there. Really? Here? Here ish. No. But maybe it goes there. Okay, looking good. There we are. And suddenly the whole thing becomes much easier. Um, here? Ah, yes, okay, so we're having some lightning happen. Lots of weather behind this ship. Wow, what a cool kind of stylized design. I quite like it. Let's just see what's going on here. Oh, right. Vikings. Yes, here you see a man with uh, lots of uh, probably a beard or wavy hair. Like really serious about this ship and their and the birds. They almost look like um, parrots maybe perhaps symbolizing the, the journey to the new world. Even though you probably wouldn't get parrots in Canada. But uh, <laughs> I don't think you would. I don't think they go that far north. But it is a very cool thing. Unless they're a d another traditional bird, which I don't know. I don't know all the birds in uh, Scandinavia that there are. But anyway, really, really cool puzzle. I like it. Um, there we go. Nice. All right, so I want to go to the main menu before I finish this episode here. Let's go to... Wow, we have Russia, Finland, and Iceland. I think I'm going to make more episodes because I really am enjoying this game quite a lot. I just wanted to show you we have many, many different things. We've got... Um, the uh, DLC puzzles, the, we have the countries visited here, exhibits and inspected. So these are all just different kinds of puzzles. Um, so there's quite a lot to discover. And it seems like a really nice game just to play, to relax and chill out. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.